This is my current workbench. It's just an old door on top of two sawhorses. The reason I'm using sawhorses is that I want it to be easy to take the workbench apart if I need to. It's not very stable this way, and in this video I'm going to take care of that by building a mounting mechanism that can be operated without any tools. This is the prototype of a mount I designed and built, which will be used to clamp the door to the sawhorses like this. After building another prototype, I printed out templates for all the parts I need. I already cut these parts from plywood and glued the rest of the templates on these pieces of hardwood. And now I'm going to make these parts. I first center punched all the holes, and then cut the parts on my temporary jigsaw table. While I was cutting, I always made sure my fingers are not pushing directly towards the blade, so if something goes wrong, I won't get cut. While this practice did keep me safe, it did not guarantee that something won't go wrong. What happened was that as I started turning the workpiece, I experienced blade binding that caused the workpiece to vibrate and fly away. While this wasn't too dangerous, I started using gloves for the rest of the cuts to prevent my fingers from getting pinched. I later also added a blade guide that helped prevent the blade from deflecting, and also tried to make such cuts before cutting the workpiece into individual parts. And I also used a circular saw for the straight cuts. I could now remove most of the templates, and prepare the parts for the glue up by removing the old finish from the surfaces that will get glued together. In order for the links to move freely, I had to sand them a bit more to reduce their thickness. And after some more sanding, with sanding paper glued onto a dowel, the parts were ready for the glue up. While this step was fairly simple, it took more effort than I thought it would to make sure the parts stay aligned. And I used some sawdust to clear up all of the squeeze out. And when the glue dried, it was time for some more sanding, getting the parts to their final shape. I'm using 10 cm long nails as shafts, but they have these edges that protrude a bit. The solution to that is sanding them a bit, resulting in a nail that looks like this. I used a slightly oversized drill bit for the holes where the nails should go through freely, and a slightly undersized drill bit for where it should be held tight. I then drilled the 22 mm holes for the handle. I could then remove all the templates and give the parts their final sanding. Next, I cut the remaining parts. I used a pine board to make the base to which the mount parts will attach, and I cut the opposite side of the mounts, also from pine. The reason I think I can get away with using pine instead of hardwood is that the clamping pressure will be applied towards the end grain, and the wood isn't that flexible in that direction. I used calipers to check how further I should push the nail in, and then marked the distance and cut it off with a grinder.
The next two nails were right in the right size, so all I had to do was cut their heads off. I'm tapping the screws to transfer their locations. Using a clamp, I made sure the workpiece stays perpendicular while I drill the screw holes. To allow the glue to adhere, I scraped off the old finish from the wood. In order to find the right position for the part on the opposite side, I placed the clamp on the sawhorse, closed it, and marked a line. I then marked another line 5mm closer to the clamp and connected the part just like before. I could now find what the distance between each two clamps should be and cut the handle to size. The handle is just an old broomstick which was half a millimeter too big in diameter to fit. I thought that after some sanding I'll be able to get it in, but it was still too big. So I jigged up a simple dowel maker with a chisel to slightly reduce its diameter. Then I had a nice snug fit. I didn't use any glue, in case I want to use the mounts on a different tabletop in the future that will require a different handle size. Next, I could drill the screw holes and connect the mounts to the door. Again, I did not use any glue when connecting these, just in case I want to move the clamps to a different tabletop in the future. And now, I have a folding workbench that doesn't require any tools to set up. Mm -hmm. 